Under the domestic exchange program, domestic bond holders will be asked to exchange their instruments for new ones. Existing domestic bonds as of 1st December 2022 will be exchanged for a set of four new bonds maturing in 2027, 2029, 2032, and 2037. The annual coupon on all these new bonds will be set at 0% in 2023, 5% in 2024, and 10% from 2025 until maturity. Coupon payments will be semi-annual. Our commitment to Ghanaians and the investor community in line with negotiations with the IMF is to restore macroeconomic stability in the shortest possible time and enable investors to realize the benefits of this debt exchange. The government of Ghana has been working hard to minimize the impact of the domestic debt exchange on investors holding government bonds, particularly small investors, individuals, and other vulnerable groups. In line with this, Treasury bills are completely exempted and all holders will be paid the full value of their investments on maturity. There will be no haircut on the principle of bonds. Individual holders of bonds will also not be affected. The government recognizes that our financial institutions hold a substantial proportion of these bonds. As such, the potential impact of this exchange on the financial sector has been assessed by their respective regulators. Well, joining us via Zoom is Pakwesi Asari of Three Business. Good morning, Pakwesi. Can you explain to us what the finance minister is saying exactly about this haircut issue? Well, thank you very much, Judith. Um, I think that it's been long in coming. Um, there's been a lot of speculation leading up to the finance minister's address yesterday. Um, there was a leaked tape on Friday, I think, where I think the finance minister, together with uh, other uh, government officials, had met, uh, you know, players in the financial sector to discuss with them uh, possible ways of uh, restructuring the debt. Um, at the risk of uh, sounding repetitive, um, it is clear that what the finance minister is saying is that they're going to go ahead with uh, some sort of a debt restructuring, a domestic one, which he has hinted, and essentially what's going to happen is that. You know, government uh, debt to GDP ratio currently, as it stands, we're told, is over 100 percent. Now, there's really no fiscal space to be able to undertake any project. And so we are, you know, in touch mm -hmm. with the IMF for a bailout program. Uh, we've been shut out of the international capital market. And so uh, in order to sign up to an IMF program, we need to... Uh, we, we need to do a debt uh, sustainability analysis to know the extent of our debt. Uh, based on that, it is clear that our debt is unsustainable and we need to do some form of restructure in order to get this IMF bailout program. Now, what government is saying is that um, people holding government bonds are going to be having some kind of a restructuring. So here's the point. Um, government has said categorically that there's not going to be any haircut on um, Principle. First of all, people holding treasury bills will not be affected by mm. this uh, restructuring. And so treasury bills, you know, is not impacted. Here we're talking about government bonds. OK, so uh, what's going to happen is that it's going to be spread by a period of time. And the maturity, that's the maturity period, is going to be extended. The interest rate, which is the coupon rate, is going to be discounted. And so the interest that was earlier agreed uh, with investors is going to be reviewed. And so all these uh, existing bonds, bonds are going to be replaced with new ones, with new terms. And so um, that's what's going to happen. It's right. going to be spread by a period of time. Uh, those maturing from, from next year, there's not going to be any uh, interest paid on it. The previous year, there's going to be 5% and then spread over a period of time. So that's what's going to happen. Right. Um, as to whether uh, people are not going to lose money, that's another conversation. The finance minister said that nobody was going to lose anything. But it is clear uh, from every indication that people are going to lose the value of their money. And we just wait to see what the, how the market is going to react to this news. Because 
a lot of times when you're doing debt restructuring, especially for domestic debt restructuring, it comes mm. with a lot of implication, especially in the financial sector, the banking mm. industry. There's mm. so much misinformation in the public now. You don't. The last thing you want is for uh, a rundown on the banks, for people to speculate so much that people will decide to go to the banks and go for their money. It's going to create chaos, and we don't want to see what happened in 2017. So, right. I mean, but government has said to the finance minister that this debt restructuring was going to be market-led. Market-led meaning that they were going to have broader stakeholder consultation, and this was going to be a suggestion coming from investors, coming from the private sector, you know, to guide government. But, you know, market watchers are saying mm. that what happened on Friday almost mm. looked like government leading the process. Now, how are investors sure. going to react to this? There are major, major, major... Um, you know, implications, you know, okay. implications okay. to this. People may decide to even go to court to challenge the, this, and this could even frustrate government. So in the coming days, this is going to be really, really big. It's going to be huge. Mm. And we wait to see how investors will react to this news. Thank you. Thank you so much for the updates. And that was uh, Park with CSRE of 3Business, giving us some updates on this particular issue. But we'll share